Welcome, silver tubers. It's Mr. Zeke at the Silver Pouring Bench. I wanted to give a shout out for a Cinco de Mayo day at the Silver Pouring Bench. After work, I headed by the local coin shop, Absolute, and I had to pick up a special piece for Cinco de Mayo. And so, before we get to that, I celebrated a milestone today. I got this tube. Everybody says eagle. Everybody see it says eagles. Well, that's because these are all American silver eagles, um, ranging from the first year they did them, '86, uh, various dates all the way through to I think the newest one I have is a 2015. And today was a very special day because I went by and I picked up 2003 thus completing my first full 20 count roll of American Silver Eagles. I'm pretty excited about that. I've got a monster, you know, I've got a roll of maples, but eagles were, were the ones that locally were the hardest to pick up. So I've got my roll of Silver Eagles. Um, my special, I had to beg, borrow, steal, and basically browbeat my uh, guy into selling me this. Um, I picked up a lot of Unanzas there. I picked up one Libertad there. I picked up some other uh, Mexican silver, but you know, it's, uh, th these are very rare locally. And so today I picked up a, uh, let's see, 1985. Un Anza, one Anza, 999 Libertad. And that is my Cinco de Mayo coin. I, uh, pretty excited. I love these. I love Libertad. Independence. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful artwork on these things. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm excited to have it. And he's had this for a while. And the first time he showed it to me, he said, I've got it, but I don't have it. So what does that mean? He wouldn't answer. Well, guess what? I got it now. Cinco de Mayo. And I had somebody, uh, a couple of new subscribers, ask what I had uh, through PMs currently poured. Um, that's just sitting in the safe looking for a home. Um, basically what you see in front of you is what I've currently got poured. Uh, I've got the big chunky bar with all the waves in it. Um, I've got the mini long bar. Uh, none of it is stamped. I haven't bothered putting the stamps on it. I just poured it and stuck it in the safe. Um, I've got the bar that has the radical trough right down the middle with a hole in the end that goes down about a sixteenth of an inch from where the gas is created a bubble. Um, it's a neat bar. This one has been stamped. Tree of Life 999, 3.9 ounces, Troy. So it's uh, it's almost, a, yeah, it's a finger long. So good size bar. Um, I've got this sort of surfboard slash tombstone silver bar that I poured just goofing off and then stamped it up all over the top and left the bottom the way it is. Uh, I've got the traditional skull bar. Skull here, skull there, skull here, skull there, skull, skull right in the middle. Um, have it stamped the back of that or polished the back of that. Uh, I've got the bread loaf bar that has the Let's see if I, there you go. That has the interesting ripples right down the middle of it. This one I think I would just stamp the bottom. I wouldn't, and maybe the weight on the side, I wouldn't, I wouldn't touch that top. Um, I'd leave it the way it is. I've got the experimental bar that has the cavity in the back. I've got the partial poured bar with all kinds of stuff going on in the top. Some skitters here, a pool there, waves all the way around. Um, I've got this guy right here. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of the one ounce traditional bars. 
where they have the Tree of Life 999, and they're one. These are each one troy ounce, um, and so that's what's sitting in the safe right now, just hanging out looking for a home. I haven't really advertised much uh, lately. I've been just pouring for the pleasure of pouring, but I, like I said, I had a couple people ask, "What what do you have that's available right now?" And so, oh, and the button. The star, the star pattern button, the star shape button, um, that one right there is available. And so this morning I poured a little, I don't really like pouring the skulls as much, but I poured one just to, I, ha, I treated a kiln, it's .85 of an ounce, it's just a hair under an ounce, and I carried it around in my pocket today. I left the polishing media in the eye sockets just for good measure, so anyway, that's what's laying in the safe. So. I might do a little bit of porn this weekend. I don't know. It's going to be a busy weekend. There's a coin show and Sunday's Mother's Day. So, But happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone. Appreciate you watching. Mr. Zeke at the Silver Pouring Bench. Signing off.